Hi, hello, and welcome to prompt number 72. Honestly, didn't think I'd be getting to prompt number 72, but here we go. Oh my gosh, triple scrambled eggs, eel, and wave. All right, sounds like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. You know, like green eggs and ham in the, in the ocean? Okay, here we go. So of course I had to start off by doing some brainstorming of some ideas. So the first sketch I have an eel coming out of, I, I guess it's home in some rocks or something. And it is greeted by a mermaid holding it breakfast. And originally I did have the mermaid petting the eel. And then later on I realized that I didn't even put wave in that drawing. So I go back later and have the mermaid waving at the eel. And the second sketch is really weird. It's a wave, like an ocean wave, with an eel and a shark having breakfast on a table that's just kind of floating on top of the wave. I, I have no idea. I wanted to try to do something kind of goofy and weird, and that's what I came up with. And the third and final idea is a mermaid waitress serving a table for breakfast at a restaurant. So there's a lot of different tables of fish and stuff eating underground. Underground? Underwater? Under the ocean? Under the sea. Either way, I ended up going with a sort of maid waitress in the end, but it was a little different than my original sketch. I hate using this as an excuse so many times in my drawings, but I have been so time constricted, I guess, lately. I have had so many weeks after weeks where I've had to either catch up on not working for a week or I've had to make a lot of videos in advance. And it has been the past three weeks where I've just been working as hard as I can to get ahead of the game or catch up. And right now I am trying to get ahead of the game because if you didn't see my Monday video, I am going to VidCon in California this weekend. So if you are going to be at VidCon, come say hi. I, I don't have a panel or anything, but I'll be walking around with Dave. So come say hello to us. I will definitely be bringing some stickers to give away to people who say hello to me. And I might be bringing some pins or other things. I haven't quite decided how much I want to bring to give away. But come say hello, come say hi. Also, I just like meeting you guys. It's so nice to meet you guys in actual person. So this week I have had to make three and a half videos to let myself have time in California to go to VidCon. So I really had to push myself to get this done really quick, even though I wanted to do the more detailed illustration with lots of tables. I just didn't have the time because I've had to make so many videos in such a short amount of time. I hate that excuse because deadlines are just so common in the art world and like the art work world. So I don't want to be like, oh, I can't do deadlines. I had to cheap out but the reality is I, I had I had to go fast but if it makes any difference I actually really like this illustration despite the fact that I wasn't able to put it all in when I decided that I was going to have to go a little bit simple than I wanted to I wanted to push myself to do another character design sort of thing that I feel like I haven't done in a really long time there's been a few prompts in the past where I have just created a character from the prompts and I quite enjoy those but I don't want to do them too many times because I do want to see what I can do as far as a full illustration goes and not just a character with a white background but they are fun to do every once in a while like this character here so like I said I wanted to go with the idea that she is at a restaurant and she's working as a server and so she is an eel mermaid and she's serving scrambled eggs what was the other prompt oh yeah wave so she's giving a sort of hesitant and very small like what is happening hello why am i waving at you sort of wave because she is surrounded by hundreds of eels and to be honest i haven't quite decided why she is surrounded by hundreds of eels but I have some ideas if you guys want me to bounce them around. I know you guys like my backstories, my illustrations, and it's honestly my favorite part about these prompts. So I think I will sit here and just talk about my ideas about why she is surrounded by all of these cute little eels. But first, should I talk about the art just a little bit? I haven't talked about the art uh, like at all. So as usual, I did want to constrict myself with color, which I feel like I haven't talked about in a really long time, which is good because I felt like I was talking about it almost every prompt for a while there. So I started off by coloring the eels and then I was going to go ahead and sort of pick my colors based off of what would go well with those eels. So I wanted to find a color scheme and knowing that she was going to be a dark brown, I had to make her pale skinned because a dark skinned character with a dark hair and dark eel just wasn't, it wasn't gonna look good. 
So I made her light skinned with a lot of brown going on and I wanted to make sure that something also went with yellow because the scrambled eggs were going to be yellow and also the apron had to be some other sort of color and I kind of wanted her eyes to be red. So I went ahead and made her eyes a sort of pinky red color and made the apron a spotted pink. Overall, I do think the colors went well together. I guess I don't really have much to say about that anymore. <laughs> Something I do really like about this illustration is the way I did the eels fading off into the background. I wanted to imply that she was being surrounded by a lot of eels without having to actually draw every single eel. And I thought it would be really fun to have them sort of fade away into the distance where the closer eels were a much darker color and then the eels as they went back got lighter and lighter and also the line work started to disappear on them until they were just sort of these little brush strokes in the background. That just sort of gave it a more interesting white background sort of thing. So she's covered by these little eels all around, but it's not just a white background. So I quite like that. I'm quite happy with how the eel part turned out. Overall, I am quite happy with the colors in this illustration because it's just so put together, I feel like. I also just really like the details of the little tray with the food on it. I think that's also kind of cute for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, let's talk backstory because I am dying to sort of throw my ideas at you guys and see what you think. So originally, she was just going to be a waiter and she was going to have eels all around. I mean, waitress, whatever. So originally, I just thought of her being a waiter and having these little eels poke around her and she's just waving them like, what? But then I started thinking, why would these eels be excited to see her? Because there's got to be a reason why she's so like, whoa, everyone's waving at me. Or I guess everyone's looking at me. So one of my ideas is that she has been running this breakfast shop for a while now. It's her own personal breakfast shop. But her true calling in life and something she's always wanted to do is that she really wants to be a singer. So maybe recently she has sort of made a breakthrough, maybe a concert or just someone online has really spread her work around. So she's at her day job just working at the restaurant and then suddenly all of these eels show up because it's the eel girl that sings. Everyone's seen her on YouTube. So her restaurant is just flooded with fans that she has no idea about because she's been working all morning. She doesn't really spend a lot of time on the internet. And she's just like, why do you know my name? Hello? Yes, it's me. Another idea, and I think it might be a little inspired by Splatoon because there's a new Octo expansion out right now. Because she is an eel mermaid, and that's not the most beautiful mermaid out there. Usually mermaids are very beautiful, their skin is clear, hers has little eel bits all over her skin. She's brown, she's not a beautiful red or green color. So eel mermaids are probably not the most popular mermaids. People probably think they're garbage or something. I don't know anything about mermaid culture. So maybe recently she has sort of maybe become a celebrity and that's not very common for underwater life for eels to be anyone. So all of her little eel fans have shown up to give her support because they're just so proud of her for becoming a celebrity in this world where it's hard for not so beautiful mermaids become celebrities. So those are my two ideas. She has unknowingly become popular or she has become popular despite the odds against her in life. Let me know what you guys think about these two ideas. Why not? Here's a poll. Let's have a poll. Which idea do you like more? Either way, I quite like this simple yet cute illustration. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with eel, scrambled eggs, and wave because, wow, the scrambled eggs really, really throw a wrench in that one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the end card. I am so glad to see I'm not the only one that went a little weird and crazy with the prom submarine, but let's talk about our two featured artists. The first one is Autumn Grieve, who did this wonderfully cut out illustration of this girl underwater with these fish and the colors are all bright. And I just, I love it. The little cut out, pop out effect was too perfect. And as I was browsing through the rest of the submissions, I saw drawings by Ez, who also did a paper cut out illustration. So I had to choose theirs because it was just so interesting to see just the two takes on a paper cutout illustration. Both very colorful and both very cute. But one is more detailed and the other is more simplistic. 
So thank you to everyone for joining and I will see you next time. Bye.